good morning children listen here the ones digit in the square of 77 page number 26 just you take and see that if a number if a number ends with 3 or 7 then its square its square ends with 9 if a number ends with 3 or 7 then its square ends with 9 7 7 49 it ends with 7 so the ones digit is 9 understand so you see the page number and try to have more number of uh, problems like this understand try to have the number of non square numbers between 24 square and 25 square is dash you know this is also think page number 27 i think mm -hmm. 27 n square and n plus 1 the whole square so in between how many non squares numbers are there means 2 n non square numbers are there how many non square numbers are there 2 n here n is what 24 so 24 square next one is what 25 square n is what n equal to 24 that means 2 n equal to 2 n 2 into 24. 2 4s are 8. 2 2s are 4. 48. So how many non-squares numbers are there between 24 square and 25 square? 48. Here 9 is nice. Next one. The number of perfect square numbers between 300 and 500 is that. The number of. So here also. The number of so you have to count it. Understand? First you see three hundred and five hundred. So what is the square number lies in it? I told you many times. You should be thorough with one to twenty. Here one to ten is not possible, isn't it? So at least you eleven, eleven from eleven just you recall it, then you will be able to write this. Understand? So eleven square is one twenty one. Twelve square is hundred and forty four. Thirteen square is hundred and sixty nine. Fourteen square hundred and ninety six. Fifteen square two hundred and twenty five. Sixteen square six means ends with six. So predecessor is five two hundred and fifty six. Seventeen square seven means it ends with nine. Predecessor is eight two hundred and eighty nine. Eighteen square eight means four. Four. So predecessor is three. You have to write it here. Then this predecessor is two. So three hundred and twenty-four. Then nineteen square ends with one. Next one is three six. Three plus six is nine. So three hundred and sixty-one. Understand? Next one is what? Twenty square. Twenty square is four hundred. So twenty-one square is what? Four hundred and forty-one. So like this it will go on, isn't it? Next one. So here three hundred. In this, which number it lies? Two hundred and eighty-nine. So next is what? Three hundred and twenty-four. Three hundred and sixty-one. Next is four hundred. Next one is four hundred and forty-one. So one more number will be there. What is it? Twenty-two. Twenty-two square. So twenty-two, twenty-two. Two twos are four. Two twos are four. Understand? Two twos are four. Two two sir four, so four, eight, four, so four hundred and eighty four. Understand? Surely twenty three to exceed. Twenty three to exceed. Just you check it if you want. Three three sir nine. Two two sir four. Two three sir six. Two three sir six. So nine. Six plus six twelve. Remainder one five hundred and twenty nine. So this you should not take. So how many numbers are there actually? What are the numbers you have here? Three hundred and twenty-four, three hundred and sixty-one. Next one is what? Four hundred, four hundred and forty-one, then four hundred and eighty-four. How many numbers are there? Five. One, two, three, four, five. 
So how many numbers are there? Five. The number of perfect square numbers between 300 and 500 is five. So you should be able to write like this from 11 to 20. After 20, just you can do the multiplication. Here also those who don't know this perfectly, just with the multiplication itself, you can write it first. Do you follow? If your number has five or six digit in it, then its square root will have dash digits. So five means the next number is what? Six only, the even number. Half of six is what? Three. So for five and six, you will have three digits. This is one thing. Understand? This is one thing. Suppose, next one is what? Five digits, isn't it? So, A, B, C, D, E. From the unit place, you have to draw a bar, isn't it? So, how many bars you have? Three bars, so three digits. A, B, C, D, E, F. One, two, three. Because six digits, isn't it? How many bars are there? Three bars are there. So, three digits. Understand? Do you follow or not? Same way, suppose, if they are asking, 3 and 4. How many digits? 2 digits. Understand? How many digits? 2 digits. Because what is half of 4? 2. So 3 and 4. 1 comma 2? 1 digit. Understand? So by drawing bar also you can find it out. But by seeing the number also you should be able to say the answer. For competitive exam you have to answer it fast. In detail I am explaining everything. Understand? But you try to practice it first. Next one, the value of root 180 lies between the integers. So root 180. You see, what square number will be there here? You can take this. So 169, 196. Between these two only it will come, isn't it? So root of 169 is 30. Root of 196 is 14. So root of 190 will lies between 13 and 14. Understand? So what are the numbers? 13 and 14. Why I am writing 13 and 14? Because they are asking root 190. Understand? They are asking root 190. So if you don't write 13 square, 14 square. The value of root 180 lies between the integers 13 and 14. Do you follow or not? Thank you.